please welcome to the channel. I'm the Side Moon Diva. For those of you all that are new, for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, the comments, the shares, as well as the donations and keeping your girl booked and busy with the personal readings. If you guys are interested in one, you can always find that information down below in the description box, as well as pinned in the comments. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. All right, first card here, you have the pen card. Oh, some of you all could be going into a new career or a new job, okay? You may have started a new job or a new career, or you're looking to go into a new field is the energy here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some business card here, okay? So this is some messages for some of you all, um, definitely for those who are self-employed that are looking for some things that will help them. Maybe you're feeling kind of hindered at the moment, wondering what it is that you need uh, for success. And let's see what messages come through. Oh, you have a line. It says, stay in alignment with your core values and your vision for your lifestyle that you can create with your business, okay? So definitely don't shy away from your core values. Always stick to that and, all right, and keep your vision because there's definitely going to be success on the horizon. For some of you all, you may feel like it's taking a little longer than it should, but just be patient. Everything's going to work out um, when it is supposed to. Trust in the divine. You have published. It says, start that book you always wanted to write. Get your messages out and touch people's lives. Some of you all could definitely be into writing. So this is a time when I feel like some of you all are going to flourish. All right. You have design. All right. It says, build a simple and elegant website that attracts buyers who love and engage in your brand. Okay. You also have clarify. Get clear on what activities and online platforms bring in your best clients, customers, and focus your attention there and ignore the distractions, aka ignore the haters, okay? Put in all the work you can, all right, for your business and not worry about other people. I feel like for some of you all, you could be in a very unique field and you have some people that may be judging you at this time, but you have to do what makes you happy, all right? You know, zone out anybody else. All right. Put them in the background. Ignore those distractions because you only get one life and you want to live it doing what you enjoy. Okay. Some of you all are definitely going towards a passion. Some of you all have a hobby that you're turning into a successful business. So good luck to you. All right. And now we're going to get into finance. All right. It says make a monthly budget for your business and personal income and expenses and always be clear and specific about your finances. Okay. So definitely when you are considering your business, make sure that you're crossing all your T's and dotting all your I's, okay? So you have the goldfish card here as well. It says increase, oh man, Aquarius, y'all about to live. When I tell you, you all about to live that good life, baby. You got the goldfish card here, okay? There's going to be an increase in material wealth or there's going to be an increase in spiritual growth. For a lot of you, I feel like it's going to be both, okay? For the one, those of you that's been seeing those angel numbers, that's keeping being pushed and working hard, you're wondering, why do I keep seeing these numbers? Why am I being pushed to do this? It's because there is something that you're destined to do and whatever it is, you're going to be successful at it. All right, and it's going to bring you a lot of wealth and abundance, okay? It's going to be a lot of spiritual growth. Some of you all have a lot of lessons you're going to be learning to, during this time. I will be doing a retrograde reading, so definitely, uh, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you'll be reminded when that video uploads as well. Look at that angel number. Most important angel number at this time is 1111, awakening. Some of you all are awakening to your intuition. Some of you all are awakening to the the spiritual changes that are taking place in your life and you are zoned in, okay? The universe sees this, all right? They are arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you to wake up to who you truly are, all right? Some of you all are really feeling good and feeling comfortable in your own skin and you're not letting anything or anybody get in your way. Look at that. Oh my God, Aquarians, <laughs> you are on the road to success, okay? Any doubt or fear you have, push it to the side. This is your time. I feel like for a lot of us, this is our time. This year, 
All right, for, when I say that, of course, um, for some of you all that don't know, I am an Aquarius as well. But I feel like for a lot of us, this is our time. We are shining in this age of Aquarius, okay? Standing out, doing things that we're happy, you know, doing or living a life that we're happy living and not making any apologies for it. That's what I feel like for the rest of 2021 is going to be for Aquarians. It's doing what you're happy doing and not making any apologies for it, okay? But of course, with the success comes the haters, right? You have the club card. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. All right. You're going to have, I'm telling you for every person, for everything that you do, for all the success that you have, there's going to always be somebody hating. All right. So just be very mindful of this energy here. This is going to be a period of frustration and lessons to be learned. I feel like this is around this energy here. All right. So uh, to keep protected, what I would say is uh, to keep your circle short. All right. Make sure you know who you're dealing with in business or in love relationships. And um, I feel like this would be something that will blow over fairly easy. And you have the Fox card here. It says shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Wow. Some of you all are really getting a lot of energy towards business. There could be somebody around you. Um, that sees this success, I'm telling you, there's somebody that's talking against whatever gift it is that you have. Somebody's telling you not to do something that you enjoy doing. Somebody is wanting you to fail. As, I hate to say that, but there is somebody. I won't, It's not that some of them may be trying to do it in a malicious way, but I feel like they just want to kind of knock you down a little bit, you know, kind of knock you down a notch. Oh, I get that energy here. Yeah. This person always, oh, be careful. Don't take any risk. Oh, you know, you shouldn't do that or this and that. But guess what? <laughs> Aquarius, baby, let me tell you something. Regardless of all the drama, regardless of everything that these people are trying to throw at you, all these daggers, baby, know that you are protected from negative forces beyond your control. I'm telling you, there are people around you, even some of those smiling faces. They see you moving up. Look at that. You see, you moving up that success there, going up that mountain, getting all the way to the top. They know that you have a gift. All right. Some of you are being paid from a gift that you have. And there are people around you. They see this. It's causing them frustration. Okay. And it bothers them that you are moving along so fine, doing something. I feel like some of you all are really doing something outside of the box. Some of you are definitely doing something outside of the box. Other people can't figure it out. Therefore, they have to speak against it. Okay. For some of you all, this could be terrible. They may think that you're crazy. They may say that you worship the devil, you know, saying all of these crazy things when it is not the case. Okay. People see, they, <laughs> how do I say this? Stuck on stupid wanting to remain ignorant, not wanting to educate themselves on what it is that you're doing. Okay. And because of this, um, this, this, uh, this spiritual energy, you're being protected against this negative energy because there is something out here that you are destined to do. And regardless of what people have to say, this gossip that some of these people are going around, I feel like somebody's gossiping or talking about somebody. Oh, did you see what they're doing? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Look at that. Do something risky take a chance. Some of you all have been sitting on the fence about this talent and this gift, this spiritual gift that some of you all have. You've been wondering, should I pursue it? Maybe some of you are wondering, well, what, what will the outside world think? Who cares? You only get one life. Live it doing what makes you happy. Damn what anybody else has to say. They don't have to live it. Let me tell you, those same people that are stopping you are the same people that are living with a lot of shoulda, coulda, wouldas. I should have did this. Wished I could have did that. I could have did that. Those people want you in that energy because they never move forward in their own lives. Don't let these haters stop you. Oh, look at that. You will be playing a different role. All right. People were so used to you being a certain way, doing a certain thing, 
maybe going to going to a job that you know it was no excitement there but it's it's something about what you're doing this is definitely a business reading for some of you all financially business wise there was something you all were doing you may not have been content with it it could have just been something you were doing to pay the bills and everybody around you was used to that or you may have been somebody that didn't take a lot of chances but now that you're taking a lot of chances you're scaring a lot of people all right, into talking about you because they're surprised at how whatever it is you're doing is succeeding or starting to make sense. Oh, keep your business to yourself. Keep your business to yourselves, Aquarius. I just keep getting this energy of don't tell everybody your business. Everybody's not going to celebrate you. Some people are, I'm going to tell you, they're going to pretend like they want to celebrate you, but really they're going to watch you to see if you fall so they can laugh. I'm just being honest. They're going to be like, I knew it wasn't going to happen. Look at that. I knew this wasn't going to happen. This person in her pipe dreams. Somebody is a hater. Somebody's watching you like a hawk trying to see if you're going to fail. Holding their breath. Tell them to choke. All right. They're going to die holding their breath waiting on you because you're going to succeed. And that's what's killing them. Deep inside, some of these people, they know you got what it takes to keep moving forward. They are just hoping that you would stop. Oh, that makes me so mad. Freaking haters. <laughs> oh, that makes me so mad. But you know what? It's what you tell yourself. Somebody is telling themselves that they can't do this is the energy here. Somebody's telling themselves that they can't do this. It's what you tell yourself that holds you back. You have that devil card there. You got to look at that. So you see this? There are some people around you. These haters. Some of them pretending to be your friends. Some of these could be family. For some of you all, this could be a lover. Trying to keep you stuck. All right? This is stuck energy, that devil energy. There is somebody around you that is expecting your downfall. All right? Because you look at all these people in your ear telling you that you're not going to do it. You shouldn't try it. You shouldn't reach for the stars. But it's like you're an Aquarius. You are the star, okay? You are the star is the energy here. I do feel like some people are boggled down by the things that people are saying or the things that you're telling yourself. But let me tell you, there's going to be success coming your way, all right? There's going to be a lot of success coming your way. But for some of you all, you got to put your pride to the side, all right, you got to put your pride to the side and, and move forward, all right? You have that two of swords here in the reverse, all right? They're speaking to releasing. What do you need to release? Do you need to release these naysayers? What do you need to release? All right, that's what that two of swords is. That's releasing. Some of you all are letting go of a mindset. Some of you all are letting go of people that are trying to keep you down. For some of you all, this person could be a Scorpio. I do see fire energy here as well, as well as air. So some of you all could be dealing with a fellow air sign. You could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo when it comes to the ones. Because you, oh, some of you all are dealing with a Leo. That's a hater. I'm just saying. Some of y'all are dealing with the Leo, all right? With this song card in the reverse, this is somebody that you may have recently broken up with. Could have been a friendship that ended. There wasn't a lot of happiness in this relationship, or this person could be lonely, all right? Um, this could be somebody that may start acting different. You may have noticed they started acting different the, the, the more you started succeeding in your career, all right? That's because this person doesn't want to see you moving forward, all right? With that hierophant in the reverse, it also speaks to... This is a very, this is a time when you're feeling very frail. Like anything that somebody could say to you can kind of hinder your success. So definitely be careful of the company that you keep. For some of you all, there are two people you need to distance yourself from. Definitely. There's the energy of somebody needing to distance themselves from, from people up to two people. These are people that some of you all, you could have been very bonded to. This is somebody, somebody's looking for approval, social approval, maybe wanting your your, your parents may have wanted you to go a certain way in life. There's a lot of expectations that are put on you, but that's just not who you are. You're a free spirit. That's not who you are. Somebody's wanting you to conform. You are not that person. You are different and you are, I feel like for some of you all, you are coming into understanding this. You are accepting that, hey, I'm different and I don't have to follow in line with anybody else. I don't want to be black and white. I want to live in color. It's time for you to stand out, Aquarius. 
and forget those. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's somebody that's made that's trying to make you do something. For some of you all, this could be a parent or two. All right, it could be a mom, could be a dad, could be both of them. Somebody wants you to follow in somebody else's footsteps. Those are not your steps to take. Choose your own path. Life is too short. Yeah, I'm telling you, you got some haters around you with that King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody that's doing something for their own benefit. All right, it could be a love relationship. Somebody could be very selfish, very self-centered, very arrogant. That's where that arrogant energy is coming from. Somebody's very arrogant, very demanding. I don't like that energy. Very demanding energy. Maybe not wanting you to pursue dreams because they want you to wait on them hand and foot. This is somebody that's very materialistic. Somebody that'll try to bribe you. I'm telling you, somebody's trying to get you to do something you don't want to do. Somebody is trying to get you to do something you don't want to do. Yeah, this person, for some of you all, you may be dealing with somebody that could be violent. Uh, if you are, this is a very unhealthy situation. I would suggest um, for some getting law enforcement involved, this could turn violent with this person because of their their attitude is something very mean about that king of pentacles to be a taurus a virgo or a capricorn whoever this is a very mean is the energy that's being picked up Ooh. or just a lot of fighting somebody's trying to get courage to walk away from an unhealthy person or thing it's a lot of pentacles here money could be at stake money could be involved money could be a reason why some of you all haven't pursued this dream yet Money could be playing a role. Yeah, you definitely have a lot of people that are jealous around you with this Six of Pentacles in the reverse. People could be treating you unfairly, could be treating you unfairly at work. All right, is the energy here? They're saying that this is going to be a slow progress, okay? That this business that you're moving toward for some is going to be slow. But the thing is, is that this is going to be a good investment. But I feel like for some, you could be impatient at this time because you're wanting things to happen now. But again, things are going to happen in divine timing. With that 11, 11, all right, the universe is arranging this for you, okay? So things are being arranged in your life. People are being pulled away from you. People are being pulled towards you at this time for a reason, okay? Know that everything right now is happening for a reason. So practice being patient, all right? Because there are going to be some moments, you know, life is not perfect. There's going to be some difficulties. There's going to be a little bit of discouragement. There's going to be people around you that are going to try to discourage you, but you will succeed, okay? You will definitely succeed. I want to see this King of Pentacles. For some of you all, this is a love interest. Let's see if I can get some information on this King of Pentacles. Please give me the most important messages that need to come through. What are the most important messages that need to come through, please? What does the Aquarius need to know at this time? Oh, there is a bitter. I'm telling you, some of you all, this is a bitter ex. This is a bitter ex that don't want to see you doing good. Now, at least they don't want to. Oh, oh, what did I say? They don't want to see you doing good without them. Freaking hater. Their biggest fear is you moving on. This person. Oh, my God. I feel like this is somebody that made a mistake in a relationship and they're mad that you choose not to go forward with them. How you make a mistake and I'm the one that's at fault. <laughs> Is the nerve for me, okay? Wow. I just get a very tit-for-tat, messy, trifling person. Look at that. Tit-for-tat. Some of you all could be dealing with the earth sign again. I'm telling you, with that king of pentacles in the reverse, this is somebody that is trifling. Vicious, vengeful, angry. They're angry about something. All right, you have quickie, all right? <laughs> Oh, for some of you all, this person could not last in a bedroom. I'm just saying. All right. For some of you all, you may have been engaged with this person. Uh, there could be a, 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 an engagement coming for you all in the future when you meet a new love. All right. You or your person could have the initial C. You or your person can have a Libra moon. Some of you all definitely have a Libra moon or you're dealing with the Libra because some of this energy that's coming through here came through in a Libra reading as well. You or your person can have the initial M. You or your person could be tall. 
They're saying a year from now, this is why they're telling you to be patient. I feel like a year from now, things are really going to start looking up on your business. This is why they're telling you not to give up. So for some of you, this time next year, things are really going to be exploding business-wise. So definitely, this is why they're telling you to be patient. Yeah, right now, things seem overwhelming. You may have had a couple of setbacks, but those setbacks are going to be something that's going to lead to a big come up okay so definitely be patient this is somebody all right with that kiss in the dark this may have been somebody that may have acted in a relationship like they were faithful but there was somebody else in the picture with that kiss in the dark somebody that has issues all right daddy issues you could have daddy issues your person could have daddy issues for some of you all this king of pentacles in a reverse in this reading could be a dad somebody that is very um harsh with their words or wanting you to do things that you don't want to do as far as work goes all right and it's been very difficult on you maybe to walk away from this person or to stand up to this person but i feel like now is the time or some of you all are going to start putting your foot down with this very controlling energy that I feel around you. All right, let's see. Wow. Be very careful with this person. For some of you all, this love relationship, this could be someone that's trying to trap you with a baby. There's somebody that does not want you to be successful and independent on your own and this may be a way in which they're going to try to keep you stuck oh my god someone will try to make you do something against your will like have an unplanned pregnancy Oh, be careful, guys. See, this person needs you to trust them, okay? But we already got that kiss in the dark card, right? Because this person wants you to think that they're the faithful type, like I mentioned earlier. But really, there's always somebody else in the background. <gasps> you cannot make... Yow! Oh, you cannot make this stuff up. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Threatened by your hustle, Aquarius. This person is threatened by your hustle. This energy, for some of you all, this is not a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn. It could be any sign, okay? Let's not get fixated on the signs, but listen. Because they are threatened by your hustle, they're going to try to trap you with a child. For those of you all that are in the baby-making stage, be careful. For some of you, you may have already had children with you, and they already trapped you, whether you know it or not. Okay? Oh, my God. Because they can't take this. They can't take it. Up at night, thinking about you. For some of you all, you moved on. You don't want a relationship with this person. You've been bossing up, and they can't effing take it. They are pissed that you're moving on, Aquarius. Listen. Didn't I say this person is possessive, controlling, manipulative, greedy, and sneaky? I'm telling you. Y'all better watch that snake. Y'all being protected against that snake. Oh, if this person, baby, wrap it up or don't have sex with them at all, I would run like the freaking wind bullseye because... This reading is for somebody. That 1111 didn't come here for no reason. Y'all are getting an awakening. Y'all getting an awakening. You're, you're coming into who you truly are, and this person is trying to keep you as somebody else. What did I tell you? You playing a different role now. They don't like it. You too independent. You got too much spunk. You speaking up too much for yourself. I got to bring you down a notch. Watch their ass watch them Aquarius I'm serious I'm getting heated there's somebody that's trying to set you up because you are starting to gain confidence and be comfortable with who you are and this person is trying to pull you back they want you to remain down oh my god give me the messages moving forward all right I'm gonna uh let me go ahead and pull from this one I'm sorry my cards are like mixed up <gasps> come on cards Work with your girl. Work with me. Work, work, work. <laughs> Pay me no mind. 
Okay. <laughs> Give me the most important messages to close out this reading, please. Give me the most important messages for the sign of Aquarius to close out this reading. I'm going to leave these here. It'll be easy to pick the other ones up. All right. Ooh. Oh, my God. Baby, if they try to cross you. If they try to cross you. You're going to experience some karma, baby. Because you all are divinely protected. Whoever this is that's trying to come in and destroy you. <laughs> Let me, let me basically break down what this card is, all right? The karma card, technically, is a person being close to finding their purpose and meeting lots of soulmates and kindred spirits along the way, all right? This is all about releasing what? Superficial relationships. They don't like the fact that you let them go, but this is their karma. Their karma is going to be Watching you succeed. Mark my words. You have the beautiful card here. You're coming into a beautiful period in your life. You're feeling confident with who you are. Other people see this. They're being attracted to you. And this energy around you is so pure. You may have heard people tell you, you have such a pure spirit. You have such pure energy. Never change this about yourself. Most importantly, with this heaven card, there are going to be some major life changes that are going to basically make you question your future survival. Dreaming of, there could be some of you all could be dreaming of relatives that have passed on. All right. So they're telling you to pay attention to your gut feelings. All of this stuff in your life, these transitions, they're happening for a reason. I truly hope that you all watch this video to the end because there's somebody um, in this energy whose life is about to change in a, a beautiful and powerful way. Just make sure that you watch the snakes at the door. If you all enjoyed this message, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm a Sag Moon Diva. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can find that information down below in the description box as well as pinned in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!